Okay, a lot of times you need to make a pattern, and pattern seems to be a real problem because people seem to have uh, this fear of making a pattern because they feel it's too complicated. I've, drew, I've laid out a, a irregular shape here on this table and put it on with tape just to make it stand out a little bit more. And let's say that this was something on a car or something that we had to make a pattern for. I've used the same process to, to uh, put tile on a floor, go around fixtures. I've, I've done all kinds of things and used the same procedure that I'm going to show you. So this right here is going to be the opening that we've got to make a pattern for. So the first thing we're going to do, and you can use poster board. This happens to be chipboard from a body, auto body shop. You can use poster board, you can use any kind of thin cardboard. I don't recommend you use the thick cardboard because it's too hard to cut, it's, it's irregular and everything else. Now these surfaces can also be curved. It doesn't make any difference, but the whole process is going to take the same, same application. So what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of, instead of roughing everything out, we're just going to, or measuring everything out, we're just going to kind of take it and we're going to say, okay, well we're, we're going to go ahead and make this one side right here. Now, to keep this from moving around, we could do a couple of things. We could put a piece of tape here and a piece of tape there. We could come in here and we could cut a circle out like this. And then we could take a piece of tape and then we could put it across like this. And that would hold it. So we could do that in the center. We could also, like I mentioned, we could also put it on the outside like this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to take short pieces and we're going to fill in the, the spots, for example. So we're going to take this and we're just going to stack it on top and then we're going to tape that piece to our base or our, our master piece. that. We'll cut another one. This one will come in. Okay, let's say this one will come in like this. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. We're just stacking these and we're making them fit on the outside. This is a lot easier than trying to, to uh, make something that's going to take a lot of time and lay out and then you're still not going to fit right. So we're going to put this together. Kind of like working a jigsaw puzzle. Okay, this one here I think we can do a little better. corner thus and we'll go around and we'll hit some of these longer points so you can see what, what's happening here we're just stacking all these together making everything fit getting it right down to the nitty-gritty where it needs to be. And it actually comes together quite quickly. So as we're doing this we can keep in mind that, that we can make complicated patterns and we can make them actually come together pretty easily. and with very little effort.
if you're doing a circle or an arc, you just use shorter pieces and you can build it around, build it up, make it work out. You can rough cut the arc to where it all comes together pretty nicely. The more, the more of these you do, and you kind of see how it all, all comes together and it comes together real nicely. And if you don't want to fill this in, you know that this point and this point, all you have to do is draw the straight line. We can put a little piece in here. Very non-complicated. Okay, so then we've got the whole thing taken, taken place right there. Come in here and I can lift off this basic pattern like that. Uh, I can use that as my pattern. I could tape it on the bottom. I could take this and put it on another one like this and then just do the outline. Use a, a sharpie. And I could go around with the, the pattern that I did. Like that. I can cut that out. Not too complicated. I can straighten out anything that's, that's not. If I'm working with metal, it's easy to cut or file. If I'm working with wood, it's easy to cut and sand. So I can get an exact fit. I can do anything that I need to do to, to make this come out nice. Okay, so here's my, my pattern. I put that in, and it fits real nice. So I, I have the option of either using the original or the one that I made. Either one, and you can make a pattern. This, this is a real easy way to make very complicated patterns in a car, like I said, in tile, on a, laying tile on a floor, or anything that you need to make a pattern for to cut something to fit.